So hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another project in Java and uh, let's discuss about the technology first then we'll move to uh, project demo. So as the technology we are using uh, Java, JSP, Servlets and uh, MySQL as a backend and it's running on the Tomcat 8.5. So let me open the article that will explain you uh, how the things are working there. Okay, here is the complete description of the source code of the project like how the things are working and what technology that we are using what kind of architecture and like like we are using MSC architecture in the Maven tool so all the technology details are available in this article and I will uh, provide this link into description box so you can easily check down this and you can see here is the module and all the complete details are available and how can you buy now on like how can you buy it how can you get the source code of it and how can you run it your machine so uh, we have that remote support also so you can if you're gonna uh, buy a product from a project from code one so we'll provide the remote support and we'll make it uh, run at your machine okay so let's come to the point and project and we are going to use STS tool as ID. You can also use Eclipse or NetBeans if you want to run the same code into Eclipse or NetBeans. You can use both edi uh, editor and also uh, as a backend, we are using MySQL. And to manage the backend, we are using MySQL Workbench. So uh, we'll guide you to how can you install this at your machine. And but these are the minimum requirement. And then we are using as a server Tomcat server, so Tomcat server 8.5, and it's running on JRE 1.8, so it's using Java 8, uh, Java 1.8. <coughs> so let's run the code again, and when I'm going to run this, and let's check the functionality. So when I run it, my Tomcat server is going to start. You can check the control uh, console here, and it will take some time, I guess. Yeah, it's going to run. Let's see if it's going to running. Also, the server is already running. If I want, I can refresh the page. It will work fine. So I'm just going to switch to the uh, my browser and this will be your welcome page and the welcome page is localhost so um, it's running on localhost 8083 this is the port number and this is the name of your project so now the server is launched completely and the application is open automatically in the chrome browser and if you want to click on this is your home page and you can say welcome page so here we have a footer and header under the footer, uh, header we have home page so we'll redirect it the same page and you click on the flight so if user going to click on the flight it will uh, user can check the detail of available flights and you can also search flight from city to end city like for example i want to search one flight from in the world. so we have to enter the valid data here uh, so if you want to search on a date, so I'm going to search on the first search no record found because it's not available on that particular date. So let's enter some record, then we'll perform this search operation. Okay, so again click on the flight and so you can user can check flight, you can book the flight from here, and for the booking purpose, you need to create an account and so okay now let's talk about the role so we have two role as a customer and one is admin so let's log in with admin and check how the operation what are the operation that admin can perform easily so here under the use airline uh, uh, ticket database we have a table booking table flight tables and the user table under the user table we have a role id one as the admin so i'm going to use this login id and password to log in into the system 
and these are the password admin in at the rate one two three so i'm going to enter it and going to log in in the application so now as an admin i can add a new flight so let's add a flight and then maybe do that so i enter the flight number and the flight num name like uh, testing flight i'm going to use cd so let's say i'm going to go open to I can say Mumbai and I want to go date to schedule date is 30 time is 12 p.m. let's say it should be 31 and I want to enter the travel duration like for four hours airport name I want to enter some dummy data ticket price I'm going to enter 5000 enter the description so then I click on the save, the data is saved successfully and now I can check the flight and the flight list. So flight report, so under the flight report we have a new flight here with this code number and uh, the flight name here and complete detail here. So if you want to use it going to um, want to delete it, if you want to delete some old flight, so let's select the checkbox and click on the delete button, the data is gone. If here is also we have one button to new so we can check the new button and do it out there so now we can search the flight by name so for example i'm gonna search flight by name i'm gonna enter search you can see data is filtered there if i'm gonna search flight by number so let's say i'm gonna enter this number and the data is filtered okay so admin can do these operations and admin also can edit the existing flight details so like it's like change the record you can change update the report you can check the detail is updated okay so now uh, under the booking report ticket record these are the history that user is going to uh, enter or booking the flight so i'm gonna for example i'm gonna enter and search it by name so it will take down um, so this will be your first name okay username and now let's log in as a user so I'm gonna create a completely new user for the demo so if I'm gonna as a new existing user I just take the flight and I'm gonna book this flight so I click on this and if you remember this is the recent flight that we added in the database so it's a display to uh, user as well so if i'm going to search flight from bhopal to mumbai and the date was i guess 31st correct so it's saying no There is some mistake from to CD and date thirty first. <clears throat> okay, this is the bug, and I will check it and solve it. So that's not an issue. So the also user can search the flight and let's book it and check the data is coming or not there. So I'm gonna click on the create account button and I'm gonna enter my username. So my username. Or enter some testing user testing user and the email ID is testing at the red gmail.com the password is demo at the red three and I'm gonna enter the password demo at the red three so I'm gonna click on the sign up and now I need to enter some more details like my email ID and so for example I'm going to enter the same email ID testing at the rate gmail.com and the mobile numbers for example I'm going to enter this email ID and that will be your date so it's taking automatically current date number of person 1 or 2 so it's 1 and I'm going to enter some address process the payment it will redirect me to this page and you can see the total this ticket is generated and this is the five thousand dollar the price and travel duration and all the details here so final amount is also there and i need to enter some dummy card details so 
right now <coughs> I'm entering the me data and this is card holder name and the month zero and 2023 and enter the CVV number and make a payment. So ticket is booked successfully now. If you want to go and book ticket report, user can check the history also. Okay, so these are the operations that user can do under the application and uh, there is one bug and I remember that bug so I will check it and I will verify it and, and, and I will solve it. And okay, so thank you so much for watching and uh, if you want this source code just check the link in the description box with all the details you can contact on them on the both, uh, contact details like you can mail us, you can WhatsApp us and we'll provide the complete source code with remote support and in remote support we'll connect with you and your machine and we'll run the complete code we'll do all the required installation like database setup and um, project import uh, we'll do the uh, import the project we'll do the data database and server setup and we'll run that application at your machine and it will work same as shows in the video so thank you also i wanna do some announcement if you're gonna learn some technology or if you want to increase your technology you can visit another another blog which is codec.com and here we are providing in 20 tutorials about the, any 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 technology so it's available free so you can directly visit it and you can join this also we have some new intensive programs so if you are interested for the internship and you want to learn some technologies from scratch and you want to practice some technology so it will be three month internship and in that internship will provide the training to you on a particular technology and then you have to work on like a scheduled task and once you will complete will get the technology like certification from the Goldman Technology Solutions Private Limited so that will be good for your help uh, for your, uh, your future if you wanna uh, go and if you want to join this internship program for to learn the new technologies you can just like um, click on this join internship link and just check all the details and you can click on the apply now and just fill your details thank you